Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda and today, do you know what we're gonna have a chat about? We are having a coffee chat, obviously, about the handbags that I've been gravitating towards the most in this first like half and a bit of the year, I guess, of 2023. And because when we wear something, we choose to not wear something else, right? So we're gonna bring in both the example of what I've been wearing and what I've not been gravitating towards. So let's get right into it. Coffee is life, literally. How do you take your coffee? I would love to know. I personally am a black coffee girly through and through. And maybe while we're on the theme of coffee, maybe let's start with the first bag that's kind of coffee colored, you know? Wasn't that a smooth transition? <laughs> this handbag is one of those that I bought last year. I kind of bought it because I was obsessed with another bag in my collection and I wanted a sister for that bag. This is my Hermes Evelyn in the GM size in the version two. So, you know, you have the perforated H on the back of the bag, you have the pocket on the front of the bag, and then you have a shoulder strap that is non-adjustable, which is what the version two means essentially, right? The version one has a non-adjustable strap, but not a pocket on the front. I mean, we digress. We don't need to talk about this. I made a review for this bag if you want to have a little look-see. But this bag literally goes with all the outfits I'm wearing. Honestly, this is, I think, one of my best purchases of last year. I think this Hermes Evelyn GM in Clemence leather and chocolate brown or coffee brown, if you want to call it that, now that we're on the topic of coffee. I mean, it's just brilliant. You have the palladium hardware. I am usually like a silver jewelry or silver hardware kind of girly. Today I'm wearing gold, obviously, but I'm not really offended by mixing metals. Like in one of my videos where I talked about outdated fashion rules, and I think not mixing metals is actually kind of holding your style back. So if you want to have a look-see for that one as well, I, like that was enough self-promotion, I promise. We're, we're done with that now. But this bag, honestly, this first half of the year, it's just been with me everywhere. Like traveling, this is great. You just put all your little belongings in here. You fit a water bottle, you fit a cosmetic pouch, you fit your phone, your key, your key and card holder, obviously. Like a full-sized wallet, you can even fit your laptop in here if you want to, you know? I adore this bag, not only for traveling, obviously, I wear it all the time because it's so roomy. I kind of actually prefer the GM size over the PM size, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Which brings me to my next little bag here. This is my Armas Evelyn PM in this green color. I have it stuffed now, which is why you see the perforated H a little bit better than on the brown GM. But honestly, like this bag, I don't wear that much since I got my brown GM Evelyn. Like I said, I think I kind of prefer the GM and I think I kind of prefer the version too because this like adjustable strap, you have to like fiddle with it sometimes. It gets like non-adjusted. Like don't get me wrong, I adore this bag. I adore the green color, like the contrast between like the forest green and the spring onion green strap obsessed. I think it's so nice. Like this with a little springtime or summertime outfit, I adore. But like I said, I think I prefer the GM size because it just fits a little bit more. You know, sometimes you just want to bring everything, including the living room couch and the kitchen sink, right? <laughs> I mean, I bought this last year as well in February. I bought this last year in October. So this is kind of my most recent obsession or my like most recent love, you know? This one I wore so much last last year, like literally this one went with me on every trip and like on every little supermarket run, whatever, what have you, you name it, this bag was with me on it. I think maybe I overexposed myself a little bit to it and this year we're having like a little bit of separation, you know, but I'm a hundred percent confident that we will fall back in love, but just not the first half of this year, you know, maybe the second half. We will have to well, see. We're on the topic of recent purchases, I guess. You've seen this on my channel a million times <laughs> in recent months, but this is my Celine Triumph tote. You have the black leather handle that's so like squishy and smushy and smooth and nice. She pairs so nicely with literally all of my work outfits. I just 
fling her across my little arm and then we just go happily ever after to work, you know? <laughs> I adore this bag. And similarly to the Hermes Evelyn storyline, my prior work bag, my Prada double in the size large like this one I got I think in 2018 when I got my first big girl job, I wore her every day. 2018 to like 2022 right until I got this one in December 2022 so I think we've just had a lot of FaceTime you and I you know and I think we're on similarly to the little green Evelyn this one and I were also on a little break I am a hundred percent confident that we will have our moments again but right now we're just like I said we're getting a little bit of space and space is you know, healthy sometimes. But I mean this, if you're looking for a classy, classic, timeless, chic work bag, like look no further, the Prada Double is ideal. It's Safiano leather, so it's super hard wearing. It has this super like amazing, awesome, fabulous red interior. You have the gold hardware, you have the shoulder strap. Although for me, this is not really a shoulder strap kind of bag. It's more kind of like, you know, little army kind of bag, you know? army bag. army bag. <laughs> Whatever, crook of your arm kind of bag was what I meant to say. I'm not sure where the army came from. <laughs> you have the little like tab for where you can put like your details and stuff if you want to. I haven't really, but feel free. I mean, it has the feet, like it has like nowhere, even though I wore it like literally every day for work for like four years straight. I adore that bag. It's amazing, perfect, brilliant, we love. I think this bag just brings a little bit more of like casual kind of low-key vibes, you know, even though it's a monogram, I don't feel like people know that this is the Celine Triomphe pattern, you know, or at least like non-fashion people. So I've just been obsessed with this and I think it's such a good bag, like literally my mom, she's obsessed with this as well. She's like, I want one too. So I had to like hold on to it so that she didn't steal it last time she was visiting, you know, but... <laughs> Mm, do we want to do Saint Laurent next or where are we at in our minds? Maybe let's do Saint Laurent. The Saint Laurent envelope chain wallet. I have both this fabulous like high octane red with the gold hardware and I have this gray one. I think the color was called Earth when I bought it in Saint Laurent in Milano. That was such a fabulous experience. This one I'm wearing so much. This one I'm not wearing that much. Hear me out on this. I know that red is like the color of this season or this year or whatever. Everyone is wearing red. Everyone is loving red, but honestly, I haven't been wearing it and I'm not sure why. I think it's just that for me, this gives like in summer, I'm not really a red kind of girly. That's more like fall and winter. So maybe she's just waiting to have her moments in fall and winter in 2023. And this one has just had the summer moments, you know, that might be the case. We will have to see, but this one I've been wearing, this one I've not gravitated towards because of the color choice. And also, correct me if I'm wrong, but at least for me, like in spring and summer, I adore wearing silver jewelry. In fall and winter, I'm more of a gold jewelry kind of person because for me, like I feel like in the winter, I, I need to warm up the vibes a little bit. And warmer vibes to me is gold jewelry and colder vibes to me is silver jewelry because you have the warmth of the gold and the coolness of the silver. Does it make sense or is it just me? Am I going crazy? <laughs> Continuing on with Saint Laurent or Saint Laurent, I guess we should say. My Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent, Sac de Char. How do you even say Sac de Char in French? My butchering of French names is not cute anymore. I know I need to improve, but my Sac de Char Nano in the croc embossed leather with silver hardware. I think this bag is amazing. I've been wearing it so much this first half of the year. I think this one, if you're like that quiet luxury girly, I think get yourself a Saint Laurent Sac de Char, unless you want to get like, I don't know, a totem bag or a the row bag, but I'm not really totem and the row bag kind of vibe. So for me, it's going to be Saint Laurent or something like that, right? Saint Laurent Sac de Charnano, such a great bag. I think 
like bringing this to a little look where you have a loafer, you have like a little blazer, you have like a little turtleneck. You're bringing those kind of old school preppy vibes with your little sack de shirt that to me basically looks like a little briefcase or something. I adore this bag. You can wear it crossbody with the little strap. She does everything and she does it so well. But when I've been wearing that one, I haven't really, because for me, this one is like a grab and go. Like if you are out in the city center and you have a few things that you want to bring, you can plop it in there. It's still quite a roomy bag, even though it's a tiny bag. But something I've not been gravitating towards that much recently is my Mulberry Base Water Satchel. For me, this is like a fall and winter bag. I adore this bag, don't get me wrong. I haven't really been wearing her in the summer because once again, with like the H Gold hardware, the kind of warm kind of chocolatey brown color for me it feels more wintry more fall vibes like she could go so well with the outfit I'm wearing today with my little chocolate brown Uniqlo turtleneck and merino wool and my gold jewelry like we could be such a cute pairing today we might do that I'm looking forward to starting wearing her honestly so much I think this bag paired with my Burberry trench coats like either the navy blue one or the beige one omg I adore it's giving me all the old English kind of countryside vibes. Thriving. We adore. But we haven't been wearing her that much in spring and summer, but I think it's just that, to me, I associate that with cold weather, so that's why. Once again, we'll not be selling that bag because I think it's a timeless classic staple that you can never go wrong with in your collection, actually. Then, something I've been gravitating towards so much. I adore this bag. Once again, this gives, like, more pop more of a vibe, more of like octane to your look. The Prada here in this shiny treated leather with the gunmetal hardware on the sides, this to me gives like academia vibes because this feels like the corners of an old book to me. I adore this bag. I think pulling this out as your evening bag, like, okay, so it's been a very rainy summer. I think this bag in the evening, like even if it's rainy, you get some rain on this. You just take the napkin in the restaurant and you just wipe it off a little bit when you reach your restaurant destination and she's fine. You know, she's getting a little bit of a clean from the water, <laughs> you know? But remember to wipe it off. I mean, it's a leather bag at the end of the day and you have the kind of smoother leather on the inside and stuff. So you don't want to bring this out when it's like torrential rain, but just, you know, when it's a little bit of a downpour and you need to have a bag that's not gonna cry in the rain. Which brings me to my next point because this is one of my favorite evening bags. Then we also have a little Chanel evening bag moment. It's the Chanel classic double flap in the small size. This one is in lambskin and it has gold hardware. This is also one that could be such a nice vibe with my outfit today. This bag, I don't like to bring out in rain because I'm like Chanel lambskin and rain. Mm -mm. That's not a good combo. We do not do that. This is a vintage Chanel from 1994. She's in such great condition. We are from the same year. We are twins. She's literally aging with grace. I adore her. She is my role model. <laughs> <laughs> she does not go out in the rain. She is in fact made of sugar and she would melt if she went out into the rain. So for the kind of evening vibes, I mean, when you want for one something that's more vibes, more aesthetic, more like aggressiveness to your outfit, then you bring out this. And especially if it's a rainy day, if you want more like timeless elegance, you want something understated, and you want something that's classy, classic, timeless. You bring out this one, obviously it's gonna depend on the color scheme and the kind of mood of the outfit, but the evening bag I've been gravitating towards in the first few months of this year has been the Prada Cahir and not really the Chanel Classic Flap. And also I feel like people are a bit sick of Chanel Classic Flaps recently, aren't we? I mean, especially with people talking about quality deterioration and we're talking about making Chanel more exclusive by all of these price increases and by Chanel investing in little private stores for their like top tier customers or clients, right? I'm like, I love you, you as a bag. I'm not really a fan of your mother company at the moment, you know, with all of the kind of tactics that they're performing on us. But I digress. Those were the handbags that I've been wearing the most in the first 
few months of this year. It's now end of August when I'm filming this, right? So we're a little bit more than halfway through the year. I think honestly, the one bag that I've been wearing the absolute most has been my Celine Triumph tote because that one I take to work like on a daily basis. Like as a weekend bag, the one I've been wearing the most is the Hermes Avalon in the GM size and the chocolate brown color. I think all of these bags, in my opinion, are timeless classics. I'm not thinking of selling any of them. Initially, I was kind of thinking about selling this one, but then I had a chat with some of you guys in the comments. I had a chat with my mom and my mom was like, why would you sell it? You know, it's a timeless classic bag that even if I'm not obsessed with it at the moment, it is one of those bags that I think like come fall and winter, like during Christmas, this is one of those bags that I always bring out. So I think that's the thing. Like if you invest in a timeless classic, like standing the test of time kind of handbag collection, you don't have to be obsessed with all of them at once, you know? I have 20 handbags. Of course, I'm gonna be more obsessed with some of them at one point in time and then more obsessed with others at another point in time. It's not about like, I'm obsessed with this one now, so I wanna wear it all the time. Yes, do that, but then the ones that you're not gravitating towards, unless you really feel like it's not for you, then maybe let me be the devil's advocate and say that if you've already bought it, then maybe why sell it? You know, if it's something that you can see yourself wearing in the upcoming 10 years. At least that's the case for me. Like when I buy handbags, I buy them because I can see myself wearing them like in the long term, you know, especially when it's these kinds of investments, if we want to call it that, handbags. I'm not really buying it just to wear it for a season or for one event or whatever. I buy it because I think it's one of those things that will serve my wardrobe that will kind of improve my style in a certain way or give a certain mood that I want to bring to that look or to those looks like in the long run. You know, it's not about the short-term game, it's about the long-term game for me when it comes to a handbag collection. Which is why I wanted to make this video to kind of say that yes, we might not be obsessed with every single bag in our collections all the time, but I think that's fine. And I think that's the beauty of it because then you have a collection that some handbags you wear now, some handbags you might rediscover like a few months later and you're like, this bag is so great. I'm so excited about it now. And then instead of always chasing the next new bag, you can shop your own little collection and rewear them and restyle them in different seasons of your life, right? And I think that's exactly the case with all of these bags. Like I said, I'm not selling any of them. I think selling handbags on the pre-loved market is really <laughs> annoying actually because, I mean, I've done it a few times. It's fine, it's cool, it's cute, but equally, it's just a lot of work and people are just asking so many questions, which I think is great actually, but some people just ask questions to ask questions with no intention of actually buying that bag, which I mean, fine. I'm chatting about handbags on the internet <laughs> for no specific reason, so. <laughs> I don't really mind, but equally, if you're asking about something on a selling ad and you're not in any way, shape or form intending to buying it, then you're just wasting everyone's time, including your own, you know? So selling for me is not my favorite activity. I would rather, like I said, invest in timeless classic handbags that I can rewear, restyle in many different ways and that I can like enjoy in seasons of my life. The ones I'm not really wearing at the moment, I can rediscover later. You know, it's fun, it's cute, it's cool. Guys, that was it, that was my ramble. Which handbags have you been wearing the most in this first like half and a little bit of the year? I would love to know. If you enjoy this video and this little handbag chat, with yours truly, then why not subscribe? I would love to have you join my little Seedler family that I have going on here. And thank you once again for spending this time and space with me. And until my next video, stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. Bye.